Attention gamers, League of Legends YouTubers create videos with one of three goals, there are the channels aimed to educate players and make them better at the game, there are the casual lighthearted channels that look to provide entertainment through their videos, and then there are the clickbait little wiggle walker scuzz monkeys who put more effort into their title and thumbnail than the video itself only for you to watch 39 minutes of farming simulator just to realize you have been trapped in an incredible time sink waiting for that one second in the video for you to actually see the bodacious booty that was hinted in the thumbnail. Now I believe most of my audience would classify my content as a part of the second category but I do admit some of my titles and thumbnails may have led people to believe that they actually might learn something or become a better player from watching my content when anyone who has watched any of my gameplay knows, that is just not the case. But that is why today I want to start this video by talking about the first thing on this channel to actually help my viewers potentially perform better in their own games. Introducing Exit Lag aka Lag Get Dumped on You Dirty Floozy 3000. You see I am stuck with an ISP straight out of I'm a Shittersville which would normally leave me with around 130 ping on NA servers but that's why this software is a necessity to me sucking less. Basically I open up Exit Lag select this toxic piss bit of a game. Click optimize which not to get too technical here but basically this means a few billion little lightning bugs line up nuts to butts from your computer all the way around the world to find you the most coked up connection between you and that game servers. Press apply routes before joining your game and voila mofos this is how Rab Daddy achieves his 40 to 50 ping with almost no packet loss that you see in my videos. And as you can see the client is working its little lightning bug nuts to butts asses off in the background while this is running. I also am using it to start my journey on EU West servers as you can see by my new account named Gooch Sweat over there. Using exit lag I can play on EU at just over 100 ping when without it I would be rocking like a fat 4 hundo. So basically with my link in the description you will get a free 3 day trial and this isn't the typical nonsense where you still have to enter your credit card and then after 3 days they secretly come and claim your house and your wife and your left pinky toe. No after 3 days it'll just shut off so no need to enter any payment info early. It works differently for everyone based off of your current location so if you try it and it doesn't work then you just say piss off rab and move on with your day. Now let's all collectively join in and thank the hard working nuts to butts lightning bugs behind exit lag working tirelessly to make our ping go down and thus our elo weens go up and let's get into some gameplay. I decided to run AP Dark Harvest Twinkle shit here because in the current state of the game a traditional ADC can't win a 1v1 against a cannon minion so that's why I am rocking a first item Doran's ring on my foam finger instead of the typical stacking sadness sperm you normally build. The game starts off with us making the opposing asshats feel comfortable enough to whip their little wiggies out and flap them around in our personal space but jokes on them we had gesture the purple nurple gesture in the area so he opens with a mini me box and I focus my attention on gun rights Joe Biden until I realize that that psyops shitter is looking like a snack and thus we claim first blood. Then my queen always said if you like it then you shoulda put a ring on it and I randomly decide that I like this Lucian and so by the transitive property you probably can guess I dive into danger before performing a totally necessary flash dubstep ignite before doing a quick bush bob to get the red robe academy off my ass. But on my way back to lane I get a hunch that there is a trespasser on my team's private property so like any intelligent player I decide that I will be doing a blind swan dive straight into the bushes only to realize I interrupted a nipple licking sesh and let me tell you these horn dogs did not take kindly to being cock blocked. But when you have a camping jungler and less than 30 ping hashtag subtle ad and all the enemy has is a spy suited dumb shit with the map awareness of a boiled turd, good things are bound to happen. Then I take a quick trip up mid because Joe Biden's wife is bullying tall sword drag lord Farquaad so I hit her with a quick peekaboo pop that cherry into Q whiff and then I have a short BM seizure before karma hitting me in the form of a fed weaponized praying mantis. Back to bot where I always have a numbers advantage because to be fully honest my teammates recognized me as the booger building moron on YouTube and they wanted their time in the limelight and so when that happens I just buckle up and say we. But turns out we didn't even need them because 36 rapid fired pistol pops are apparently no match for the world's largest banana so Mr. Immortal spin to win ended up making the long trip just to chase Pike's ass and force his flash. 
But slouchy dagger boy clearly didn't get the memo that I intend on inverting a nigh this game as he boldly gives me a dirty look so I promptly tickle the inside of his belly with my giant foam finger as my cosplaying narwhal just stands there looking for an appropriate emote to represent how moist that made her. Then my MIA ping went MIA and sure enough the kids I was supposed to be babysitting were off pole dancing on the wrong man's piss pole so I go online shopping and order a triple XL banana. Paid for by exit lag. And then I let a W do a drive by the bullet barraging boy wonder before murdering him right in front of his friend to scare him off. But I guess Biden and his butt buddy Y guy were having too much fun genociding our hooded midget employees to glance down at their mini map as we had more angles covered than a damn protractor to slap their ass and call them Becky. So I come in and deem the guy with the two handguns a bigger threat than Mr. Butter Knife and thus I bend him over quickly first before letting my Q and my alt argue over who is more afraid of hitting an enemy which lets the dashing douche get away once again. But we eventually catch up to glowing Gary so I dash into hard suck a blood nut straight off of him but then he pusses out as is tradition at this point and I'm not a fan of like 84 ratchet red robed babies throwing shit at me so I retreat knowing that chuckles the annoying shitbag will take care of it as he lights him on fire and just stares as if he hates to see him go but loves to watch him leave. Ah it was only a matter of time before the feeding president and his first lady lock love tubes together in lane and I am just so sad I couldn't be there in person to see the reunion so I order them a giant fruit platter but I tell Lucian it might get there too early and that he may need to flash for it. Now season 11 is all about ass because the item balance is ass which makes the community a bunch of asses as every game gets ruined by an assassin and this buzzing scuzz monkey was fulfilling that role in this game as I come in and fire a Q at the wrong ear before seemingly just tickling him with my auto attacks while he decides he might as well spend the one extra second to take me down with him. Then when we see he isn't in attendance of the mid game a ram that breaks out we quickly engage and I lead things off with a loud ring pop as gun jugs here gets overly dramatic before retreating. I start charging up a nano nuker and sure enough project beedrill arrives so bye bye raka but I must deal with miss baraka by avenging the extra chromied clown's death before firing a w that only a mother could love and watching my orn somehow outdo me on the dumbass meter, which was enough to provoke quite the temper out of pissy pistols but that was about it. I got word that the bad guys would be holding a mandatory team meeting at Dragon Pit and I just know that Slouchy Dagger Boy is always running late so I patiently get a half chub going before hitting him with a famous game of peek a boo you a dead bitch and needless to say he missed the team meeting. And this encourages my jungler to do likewise as he tries it on Bug Kingdom Optimus Prime which works well and then the pervy president I guess just likes blowing a full load into dolls wishing it was the real thing. Then I see a big group and deem it a good opportunity to tell them about exit lag but Senna calls me a sellout so I murder her ass. This leaves just two chains left so I fire a big boy into the mountain as if that's where he would be and then I continue chasing because helping my team take objectives as an ADC just sounds boring. He mocks me under his tower so I fire a bursty boy up his a-hole which sends him running but little did he know I called up the boys and said there's free money to be made so you already know even Orin's dead ancestor was responding to that call. Don't ask me why but everyone and their uncle is grouped up bot lane and the little shitter's shroud has the harpoon hobo feeling confident enough to string bean me so I promptly inform him that I will not be called over on his terms like that ever again as the married morons have a quick ult uselessness contest. I stick in the back until I am confident that I won't become dragonfly dinner and then I extend a warm welcome to the shackle simp by saying he was a bit late but I still appreciate what he brought to the party. Somehow these two cuties escaped from the terror so a little politician pursuit goes down until surprise our fat lava ram was just waiting at home which splits the lovers up and I film a quick episode of Boy Meets Fountain. Then Senna somehow thinks repetitively wrapping the zombie hands around my Robbie Red Ox is going to accomplish anything so I inform her that I may miss 90% of my shots but I fully intend on reuniting her with her dead bitch of a husband. So things are actually going pretty good at this point and Robbie says he wants to slap a stone a few times to buff one of my items so I am just elated thinking how much fun this is until I am reminded that this is season 11 and I am an ADC. And while you can't really protect yourself from getting ass blasted, I have discovered that building AP is superior so far as illustrated by the effect my alt had on this fleeing Felicia. Then the one drake to rule them all spawns but bondage boy is trying to intrude so I give him a ring to play with and chase him off but he randomly gets the confidence that tying me up stealing my ult and firing it at a half health dragon will result in anything useful other than being asked to jump by an obese ox and alley ooped back to base. Now in an attempt to double down on my argument that AP is superior to AD for this twinkle shit, 
I purposely missed half of my skill shots in the remainder of this clip as we proceed to play whack a mouth breathing mole until every last one has been put to bed. My jungler is too busy providing his review on season 11 in base to contest dragon so I open a dialogue with a potassium punch which scares Melania off to go alt with her hubby which wasn't enough to save their good friend 2 chains. The ghost of Orin's dead grandfather makes an appearance and everyone jumps out of respect allowing me to bursty boy the bitch down and then because I have the prioritization skills of a burnt tampon I leave their jungler alone to smite elder but it works out because he gets the shift shitter shaft and Lucian plays his role as an ADC so no one gets the buff. Now I know what you are thinking. Rav I thought you were going AP why did you build GA and so young curious child when you play marksman in this piss bit of a game and have the positional awareness of a deaf cardboard box? You will find yourself getting gangbanged by the guy from Fifty Shades of Grey and his pet alien moth so being able to do a little Jesus Christ reenactment is a good way to ensure that Rift Alexa keeps calling you LEGENDARY Because when you are alive your damage is nothing short of LEGENDARY And then you are just dick out hard chasing these scrub mommies as they learn the hard way that the history books will one day describe Rav's way with ladies as being LEGENDARY As he played with zero packet loss and the best routes available killing every last demogorgon until they all bowed down in concession of your strength and you take the W home for the igloo crew rocking 29 successful homicides and a damage ween so large they start calling you the mandingo of the rift. Don't forget there is a 3 free day trial of exit lag for you to test out and see if it works for you and if you do get it and aren't someone who rubs out half chubs to technical computer settings at night. You can copy the settings I have here as the head honcho at the company helped me set it up to receive the sexiest ping so shout out to them for sponsoring today's video so I can stay true to saying things like piss tits and twinkle shit. Lastly I announced I am streaming on YouTube now so huge shout out to all the new members of the Igloo crew rocking their badges and emotes in my chat and comments and lastly big thanks to the boys and girls over at Patreon making it rain on Rav as I metaphorically twerk my little robot ass cheeks out in appreciation for your support. Pet your dog jerk your ween try exit lag it's freaking free and brush your teeth tonight, rab out.